I rarely talk about a, a concept like supremacy because the word is often associated with negative concepts like white supremacy and so on. However, in Colossians 1, we're given an understanding of the supremacy of Jesus Christ. Let me read from that first chapter of Colossians. The Son is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For in him all things were created. Things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. And he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning of the firstborn from among the dead, so that in everything he might have the supremacy. For God was pleased to have all the fullness dwell in him, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether things on earth or things in heaven, by making peace through his blood shed on the cross. Once you were alienated from God and were enemies in your minds because of your evil behaviour. But now he has reconciled you by Christ's physical body through death to present you holy in his sight, without blemish and free from accusation. If you continue in your faith, established and firm, and do not move from the hope held out in the gospel. This is the gospel that you have heard, and that has been proclaimed to every creature under heaven, and of which I, Paul, have become a servant. When you read these words of Paul, written to an early Christian community, we're told that Jesus Christ contains all the fullness of the very nature of God. The fullness of the Godhead bodily dwelleth in our Lord. All things are created through him and for him. We often forget that Jesus Christ was there at the beginning at creation. When we talk about Jesus Christ being God made man, he was there as God. He's before all things. This is where the supremacy concept comes in. He's before all things. There's no line in which he's just a part of. He's before everything. He's the head of all God's people, the church. Now, it's okay for church people to say that, but it's a bigger statement than it might look. He is the head of the church. So any understanding of Christian belonging and Christian belief is that somehow he is above all that. Then the words, so that in everything he might have the supremacy. He might be given that very important place, which is above all things, beyond all things, that which is supremely important. We recognise that. And we're holding together two very, very different pictures, but they're both important. One is the humility of Christ. That is the, the servant nature of Jesus Christ, which we see so perfectly displayed as we, we go by the way of the cross. And the other is the supremacy of Christ. Now, these two things are not uh, disconnected. They're vitally important. They speak to one another. They play off one another. They somehow add to our understanding of God. It is not a case of God is one thing and not another. He is both and these things. J.B. Phillips, the Bible translator who wrote his own paraphrase of the New Testament, wrote another little book called Your God is Too Small. In it, he explores the fact that we have such a, a small uh, understanding of God. It, it's a fascinating title for me, and it opens up for me so many different essential truths. Is the way we understand God sometimes so restrictive, so constrained that we don't really see the fullness of what God has to say to us. The truth is that we want a God that is, is big, not only in terms of size and power, but big in terms of concepts, so that we understand that all the fullness of God, everything that God is, has been poured into the person of Jesus Christ. The fullness of the Godhead has been put into the body of Christ so that his words, his ways, his actions, the way he teaches, the way he lives, the way he dies and the way he rises, all display what is his nature. And so there is no doubt that we can talk 
about the supremacy of Jesus Christ because we know that that's it that's at the heart of everything as we seek to communicate with other people it's good to know where our strength comes from where our power is and where the love of God the compassion of God is most superbly and supremely seen in the life and in the person of Jesus Christ himself.